Making elephants a silver back or ring tank. You can't stop a train. Who wants some? Don't come unprepared. I'll be there. But when I leave there, better be a household name. Weather man telling us it ain't gon' rain. So now we sitting in a drop top soaking wet. In the silk too, trying not to sweat. Hit some assaults without the net. But this be the year that we won't forget. One nine, nine, nine. I don't know if anything goes. Do what you wanna be. Long as you know consequences are given for living the fences. Too high to jump in jail. Too low to dig. I might just touch hell. Hot. Get a life, not a gon' sell. Then I might catch you a spell. Look at what came in the mail. I'm scared as a mom and hammer. So go grill and a baby mama. Black hair lacking a pack of peppers. Stack of questions with no answers. Cure for cancer, cure for AIDS. Make a nigga wanna stay on tour for days. Get back home, things are wrong. When not really, it was bad all along before you left ass up to a ball of power. Lost at a thousand miles per hour. Hello, ghetto, let your brain breathe. Believe that's always. because of the d -load week. If you would like to see how the d -load week went, refer back to vlog three. Uh, I'm on the same program right now, so it kind of went the same as that. Didn't have as big of a Friday as last time. I think I hate snatch for like 100 this time, and then um, pretty much just in a clean and jerk uh, single at 125 or 275, just due to kind of just like overshooting some of my numbers for the day. Um, but because it was a deal of the week and I think I just kind of had like a weird mental week like just kind of felt more uh, introspective and everything so today's Sunday and I came here just to do some stretching and kind of write down some near cycles so I'm going to share some of these with you. First off with lifting AO2, AO2 is still in sight so I want to do 05 and 135 which will give me a 240 total which would be PRs across the board and a PR total and those numbers I'm very capable of. Like I think I can probably do a little bit more than that, but sometimes in competition it's just not the time to uh, to overshoot. Sometimes you just have to do what you can make, you know. In the 240 total will be big. That puts me around 27 kilos under what I would need for finals, and I kind of want to make a good push, or I do want to make a good push for uh, for finals pretty soon. I think starting off with a 240 total will give me a very good platform to start building off of. Uh, and I try to take down just 27 kilos. Uh, I started studying for my certified personal trainer course. 
Uh, I thought it was going to be a quick course to try to study for it and take the exam, but when I took the practice exam, I realized I needed to take some more time doing that. So I gave myself to like October uh, or November to go ahead and be ready for the exam and take that. Then I will officially, well, my goal is to officially launch a training program starting. I'll say January maybe. It just depends on how long it takes to get the Train Heroic site kind of like up and running to the point where I can actually advertise it. Um, what I want to do is have two options at the beginning. So one option would be personal training. Don't know the exact price yet, but I'm thinking around like auto 50 to 65 bucks or somewhere in that range of personal training where it's full-on programming, uh, coaching, and uh, video analysis. And it's all pretty much SPD focused, not necessarily uh, powerlifting, but it's strength gains in general. So just general strength training. The other option would be cheaper and it would be more of a team approach. So you get the on running, you get put into this team. For right now, I'll call it the Just Keep Progressing Fitness Team, right? Uh, you'd be on the team and you would have continuous access to programming. Uh, so it would be, you know, four to six week cycles that keep on building. And it just would not be uh, individualized program is just general strength training that it would be that would fit anybody you know what I mean it would probably be RPE based um, it is something that anybody can follow that specifically working towards your exact goals but you would be a part of a community that's all just working towards the same goals on the same program so you kind of share your trials and tribulations and I'll interact with that community as it grows uh, another goal I have is to enjoy more time with Patch uh, I always was pretty good about exercising him, but I think I just didn't do enough to work on his training. And uh, not that he's a wild dog, he's pretty well mannered, but I want to definitely, whether it's just something I do on my own with him or invest in a trainer for the both of us so I can get a professional uh, to help us out, I think it would be worth it in the long run. So I want to start taking him on more adventures and trips, but definitely needs a better recall. If you ever met Patch before, you know, once he's logged on to something, he kind of just goes off and does what he wants and he eventually comes back. So, you don't work on that. Another big one, and it's kind of funny, because um, I've already said, like, in the last vlog that I'll probably be moving sometime between, like, November to March. But once I finally foolish my, once I finally, finally furnish my apartment, because I kind of moved around so much. It was different places over the last like year and a half that I never fully got around to, you know, getting the smaller things like coffee tables or end tables for my bed, stuff like that. So like, now that I have some money saved up for being over here, I want to fully furnish my apartment and kind of fully get it set together. So some of the pictures I've been able to take over here, I want to get them, print them out, put them on my walls, like all that kind of stuff, you know what I mean? Like finally, finally have a grown man apartment. Some of the other ones are a little more personal, so I'm not going to share them, but uh, I just wanted to take this time here as DO week to set some near site goals because as you kind of grind from, or as I kind of grind from week to week, it's very easy to forget what I'm working towards and to kind of just let things become monotonous, and especially as I'm returning to the state soon, kind of get that feeling of almost like senioritis where it's getting harder to do some things or to wrap my mind, wrap my mind around being more focused on what I need to be focused on. So, Try to focus less on just going home and actually make something out of a little bit of time I have left here. Plus, when I get home, I actually be locked into training, locked into life, you know what I mean? So I can keep progressing and keep on the right path. But um, this was a pretty short video. Like I said, it was a deload week. I didn't want to bore y'all out with the, a deload week, a deload week that you already seen before. So I started a new cycle on Monday. It's uh, pretty, pretty fun from what it looks like. I think it'll be a good time to hit some heavy singles on the Fridays that I definitely want to show y'all. So stay tuned in for that. And I'll see you next week.